Early voting in Florida is underway. Action News Jack Skyvision Drone gives us a look at long line there at Pablo Creek Regional Library on Beach Boulevard on, in Jacksonville there. This was uh, this morning and uh, it was moving slowly, but that's to be expected on the first day. We've heard many stories of folks in line. Mm -hmm. And the Action News Jack Skyvision Drone also gave us a look at the lines at the Beaches Branch Library this morning. You can see a few people there on the side of the building. The power lines and wind wouldn't let us get a better angle, but you can see the line starting to turn that corner there on the right side of your screen. Polls close at 7 p.m., but you can still vote if you're in line by then. These are the six Florida counties that are voting today. It includes Nassau, Duval, St. John's, Clay, Putnam, and Bradford counties. And the other three local Florida counties, they're going to start later this week. And we want to give you a live look at the Regency Branch Library. Take a look. The lines have been long and steady all day. The Duval Supervisor of Election says that lines started forming earlier than usual, and the average wait time for most lines right now between 20 and 25 minutes. That's where we find Action News Jack's Courtney Cole, who kicks off our live election 2020 team coverage and Action News Jack's Paige Kelton is standing by with where Senator Kamala Harris is campaigning in Jacksonville today. We also break down the record number of people who have already voted. And Courtney, so far more than 18,000 voters have cast ballots. And you see this line here behind me? This is what it's looked like most of the day here at the Regency Branch Library. And the people you see standing in line, they've got patience, a positive attitude, and their masks ready to stand and wait. Now, wait times do vary, but some voters we spoke to today said they had to wait about 20 to 25 minutes to cast their early voting ballot here at Regency. The supervisor of elections said lines started at 6 this morning, and voting has been consistent all day. It's exciting. Uh, I, I talked to an older gentleman, and I was saying, uh, you know, it feels like it's going to rain, and he said, ma'am, I don't care if it's snowing. I'm still going to wait. I've been in constant communication with the supervisor of elections throughout the day, emailing and texting, and so far they tell me they haven't come up against any problems. So far, more than 1,000 ballots have been cast here at Regency. Coming up next on Action News Jacks at 5, I'll tell you which early voting sites have seen the greatest turnout. Reporting in Arlington, Courtney Cole, Fox 30. Action News Jax. More than 2.5 million people in Florida have already cast their ballot by mail in election 2020. More than 5.7 million ballots were requested, and that's nearly half already sent back to local elections offices to be counted. So we broke down the numbers based on local counties, and right now more than 150,000 voters have mailed ballots in. In just about all of our nine Florida elections offices, they've received more than half of their mail-in ballots back. You can see here St. John's at 46. 6% Baker at 46.8%. And so we've been keeping an eye on this and we'll continue to track those ballots as they come in. This is the second week of early voting for Georgia. More than 1.4 million people in the state have voted early already. That includes more than 782,000 in person votes and nearly 663,000 mail ballots uh, accounted for. Important to note that uh, according to the state's website, less than 1% of mail in ballots have been rejected. These numbers are updated throughout the day. Okay, well, you've been sharing your pictures with us during early voting, and we hope to show you a few, although I'm not exactly sure what happened here. Let's see if we can find them. All right, we've got to click on Share With Us to give you a... Let's see, where are we are here? Here we are. Let's see, Share With Us. That's the... That's, and something's going... There we go. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Ha <laughs> ha! Live television, folks. This is, uh, this is <laughs> the section where you can find pictures people have shared with us. So here you go. There's a good long line there in Jacksonville. Uh, that one is also Jack's voter, so I presume that's Jacksonville. I'm not exactly sure where that line is, but you can see a lot of folks sending in pictures of voting. There's a Georgia Peach voter. And uh, so send us your pictures if you want to uh, document your experience of voting by going to actionnewsjacks.com. Click on the Share With Us tab, which I showed you right on live on television here, and then at the top of our homepage, and then you can see the, the pictures for yourself. All right, we have an early voting poll going on right now. Action News Jax wants to know, do you plan to vote early? And 69% of you say yes. And let's see, I can't see the rest of the poll. i got to step off here. And it looks like, uh, was that 16%? Yeah, mailing, mailing in. And then how many, only 1% of you saying not vote. So that's good to hear. But again, 69% of you do plan to vote. You can join the conversation on actionnewsjacks.com slash vote. 
Vice presidential nominee and Senator Kamala Harris landed in Jacksonville 30 minutes ago, and we've been keeping an eye on the event at UNF at the Herbert University Center. We do have a crew at the venue as well. Senator Harris expected to start speaking at 440 this afternoon, so in about 35 minutes, we're going to stream that for you live on actionnewsjax.com, and we'll be giving you some inside looks throughout the newscast as we can. Now, Action News Jack's Paige Kelton joins us live from our newsroom now. And Paige, uh, you're learning more about the effort to get out the vote in Florida. Yeah, Kamala Harris uh, is set to speak, as you said, about 4.40 this afternoon. This will be held outdoors at the University of North Florida, really just right around the corner from Action News Jax. We've learned over the weekend that she'd be here, but details about where she would address the public were kept private until just before noon today. We had a live look outside the University Center. The doors are open. Again, it's an outdoor event. We have video. We know uh, Congressman Al Lawson's going to be there. He'll be introducing a local salon owner and celebrity stylist, Pakila Riley. Once Senator Harris takes the stage, we're expecting her to talk anywhere from five to seven minutes. And as Tanika said, you can watch that live stream on actionnewsjax.com. We live stream any of the presidential candidates when they come to town. Before her stop in Jacksonville, though, Senator Harris campaigned in Orlando. This is video of her arrival there. She spoke at an early voting drive-in rally. Most people, they stayed in their cars and they honked when her name was announced. Kamala Harris. Let's give up Florida, Will. A little different in this election cycle, social distancing. Harris spoke about the importance of Florida in particular in this election. Why are so many powerful people trying to get in the way of us voting? Why are these powerful people trying to suggest we can't trust the system, putting in place laws that are designed to suppress the vote, trying to purge the voter rolls, trying to make it difficult. Why are they doing that? And the answer, of course, we know is this. Because they know when we vote, we win. She also criticized President Trump's response to the pandemic. Florida is a must win for the president. The president tweeted this this morning, encouraging Florida voters to head out to the polls. We don't have that tweet, but Harris's visit comes on the first day of early voting here in Florida. Once a Republican stronghold, Duval County now has more registered Democrats. In the newsroom, Paige Kelton, Fox 30 Action News Jax. President Trump will be in Arizona rallying tonight. Former Vice President and presidential candidate Joe Biden will spend a few days off the campaign trail as both sides prepare for Thursday's debate. Now today, Vice President Mike Pence attended an event in Maine. He spoke at a Make America Great Again rally in Herman. The economy, jobs, and trade were some of the top issues. Action News Jax is your one-stop shop for everything election 2020. You can take a look at local and national races on actionnewsjax.com. Just click on the election 2020 tab.